is this? And I'm gonna kill every last one of them. That is the face of an angry woman. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Holy shit! Yes! Yes! Woo 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 woo! Last of Us 2 or? I feel like my head's gonna explode. Come on, my Stop the- Just some casual, light questions right off the bat. Um, one, will Ellie meet her mother? <laughs> uh... That would be tricky. Oh. Um, yeah, the thing. Okay, but is it literal or a metaphor? Two real quick questions: uh, Is Joel dead? And when <laughs> is um, when is the game coming out? Uh. So. What was the first question? Uh, Joel alive or dead? It depends on which point. Everybody dies at some point. Wow. Okay, so the 21st of February, 2020. Alrighty boys, we got the release. Really amazing. I'm very, very excited for when this game does come out. What the fuck were they thinking? Bruh, I'm reading these leaks and let me just give a round of applause for the person, the disgruntled employee who leaked this info. Just. Let me just say, not all heroes wear cape, and you, good friend, are a hero. Because this, what they have done to this story, what they have done to the characters, based off of what I read. What the hell did you think when you actually wrote this game? Self, I'm not even that judgmental. I'm gonna keep an open mind. I'm gonna play the game, and we'll see if it's actually ruined or not. We'll see if it's as bad as people think that it's, that it's gonna be. Um, I'm keeping an open mind. But one aspect to all this that I am disturbed by is reports out there that Sony and Naughty Dog, Sony in particular are probably more responsible for copywriting, but they are essentially taking down videos that are discussing The Last of Us 2 leaks. But last night, Sony and Naughty Dog decided to uh, rain DMCAs down on yours truly. Something like 20 or 30 of them, from what I can tell. And they seem to have relaunched. You have betrayed the fan base. Storytelling, coding, whatever the fuck you want to call this, man. What? There's a good way to go out and there's a bad way to go out. Dude, Joel literally played was literally, you played him the entire first game. Literally, he's on the face of the fucking cover. He's a face of all the other, all the covers. Literally a main character, a good guy, everything like that. And for have him go out like that. Naruto, you know, it's like if at episode 160, some new character come out of the blue in one episode for the first four minutes and kill Sasuke with a fucking slingshot pebble. That's, that's gonna how this feels. Is... I, I really actually don't give a fuck about Abby, to be honest with you. At least not anywhere close to the extent of Ellie. And they threw me into Ellie's storyline, and it was fucking sick. Dude, this is so stupid. I don't want to see her fucking side. I don't want to see her fucking shitty justification for how she is. Dad! Oh, no. Fuck this. Fuck Dad! this. I don't give a fuck. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, if you think that game could be spoiled by a couple screenshots, really? A studio with 30 years, 30 plus years of development, with so many awards under their belt, they can't even put them all in one trophy closet or trophy, yeah, they, they have, they have m m a m more established pedigree than any other studio I can possibly think of. They've been around and producing award-winning blockbusters, crazy games.
for three decades. And this is the most biggest, ambitious game they've ever done. You really think that that experience could be undone by a couple screenshots? I think six years of development could be undone by that. It's a game. It's a game. You have to experience it. All I'll say about that.